Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Ross, your instructor. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a volume calculator. Given the height, width, and depth of an area, we'll calculate the cubic measurement. Today's question comes from James from Pelham, Georgia, one of my silver members. James says, I own a landscaping company. My jobs require me to calculate materials like mulch, rock, etc. in length, width, and depth based on the customer's property. For example, if we're putting down a colored mulch in a plant bed that's 12 feet by 6 feet by 2 inches, then I would need to calculate how much mulch I would need. If a bag of mulch is 2 cubic feet, how many bags would I need? Can you set up a calculator form and access to do this? Absolutely, James. Let me show you how this works. Okay, this is a copy of my blank Tech Help free template. You can download a copy of this on my website if you want to, but you can put this in pretty much any database. All right, now you could build this straight in the form without binding the controls to a table if you want to, but if you want to save your results, then store that data in a table. This way, if you want to go back and look up and say, hey, what was the dimensions of the Smith project? How much mulch do I need? Well, it's, it's in the table. All right, so let's create a table. Create table design, right? ID, of course, auto number. If you want to put a description in here, you can. Like I just said, like the Smith Project or whatever, or an ID to, to link it to a customer record. That's up to you. Now, we basically have three dimensions we want to store in the table, the height, the width, and the depth. But don't just put in height, width, and depth as field names. Why? Those are reserved words. Okay, there's a bunch of words in Access that you don't want to use as field names, like, for example, name. Why? Because name is a property. And if you start using it in your database, you might run into problems later, especially when you get into coding. All right, name is a property, so don't use it. Height is a property, right? Text boxes, control buttons, all those things have properties, and height and width are one of them. So we're going to use something else. By the way, I've got a whole list of all of the reserved words in Access on my website. I'll put a link down in the links section down below. Go click on that and check it out. There's stuff in there that I never even knew back in the day. I used to use like picture is a reserved word. Okay, and I used to get into problems because I'd put in something, you know, like a, the picture property for a, a customer, for example. But that's a reserved word. And I couldn't figure out why my code wouldn't work. Okay, so go check that out. All right, so let's call this guy calc height, calculator height. And then let's make this a number, and we're going to make it a number of type double. All right, double so we can put fractional parts in there. So you want to put in four and a half feet or two and a half inches or whatever your unit of measurement is. Let's make the default value one, since usually you've got at least some height and width, right? Now I'm going to copy this guy, copy, paste. Then we don't have to change all the properties again, right? Control-C, Control-V, height width, or calcul calculator width, and then calculator Depth. Depth. Okay. Haven't had enough coffee this morning yet, so my typing skills are off. All right. And while we're at it, let's do this too. Calc ID. Why not? Keep everything nice. You can put calculator description in here if you want to, but eh, I'm not going to go that far. Okay. So let's save this as my calc T, my calculator T. All right. Primary key. Sure. It finds the auto number. And let's close it and then reopen it. Okay. All right, and let's put some data in here, right? The Smith Project. All right, so let's say it's uh, 10 feet by 5 feet by 2 feet. Okay, now I want to be able to calculate the cubic feet here. Okay, so for that, we'll use a query. So let's go over here and create query design. Let's bring in the calc T. You can bring down all the fields if you want to. And then right here... We'll make the cubic volume, which is calc height times calc width times calc depth. And I'll save this as my calc Q. And let's run it and see what we got. And there we go. If you've got a cubic area, height times width times depth, right? 10 height, 5 width. Two depth equals 100 cubic feet. Want to plug another one in? All right, Jones Project. All right, let's say it's 20 by 15 by 5. All right, 1,500 cubic feet. Now, if you want to build a form around this, that's easy to do. I've got a lot of other videos that show you how to take a query and build a form out of it. All right, that's the simple part, just like my beginner um, tech help 
customer list, customer form, right? We know how to do all this. You just use this query to build your form. That's all. Want to learn more? In the extended cut for members, I'll show you how to do mixed units. So like James has feet with inches. He had 12 feet by 6 feet by 2 inches. So I'll show you how to build a calculator that does that. We'll build it in a form. I'll show you how to convert between metric and imperial units. So if you've got yards and you want to get meters out of it, we'll do that as well. Make a little conversion table, as you can see there. A little tiny bit of code to do our recalculations. But that's all covered in the extended cut for members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. And gold members can download my templates. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full-length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.